Hello, in the previous video, I introduced the Python um, list and the tuple. Uh, in today's video, I will, we will go through two more Python data structure, a dictionary and the site. Let's first see the dictionary. Dictionary is a composite data type in Python. It's used to store a collection of objects. Uh, basically, dictionaries and the lists they have many things in common. Uh, for example, both dictionaries and the list uh, are mutable. This means we can modify the values uh, inside the dictionary or the list. Uh, second, dictionary and list uh, are dynamic. Here, dynamic means we can grow or shrink uh, the dictionary or list uh, as per our requirement. The third is that uh, both of them can be nested. Uh, nesting, nesting means like uh, uh, for each for every element of the dictionary and or inside the dictionary or the list, it can be still the dictionary or list. We will see more examples, you know, for better understanding of these uh, properties. Also, we should notice uh, uh, dictionary and list. They also have they also have difference. Uh, like list elements are accessed via indexing. However, dictionary elements are accessed via the keys. So the uh, Accessing the elements for dictionary and list, you know, uh, they are different. Let's first, uh, now let's say, uh, how can we define the dictionary in Python? Uh, a dictionary, uh, by definition, is a collection of key value pairs in curly braces. It can be defined uh, by using, uh, by using the, this uh, manner. Uh, yes, by using this manner, d equals to uh, k value, k value. You know, those, those k values are inside the curly braces. Here, I give you an example. Like we define a dictionary, which include uh, uh, several items. This is, this is called Rado is the key. You know, this raw case is the uh, value corresponding to this key, and we use the colon to separate the, the key and the value, and the comma to separate, you know, different item. Uh, this, in this figure, it shows the structure of the dictionary. Like, these are the keys, and these are the corresponding values. So, uh, I guess, uh, after you see uh, this is structure, uh, you can get the rough idea why we call the dictionary, you know, just like we use the uh, dictionary when we started in the primary school, you know, we want to search some, uh, th search, search, search some word, the meaning of the word, you know, we need to first have the key and then we can search the, the value, you know, value that means uh, the definition of the word. Uh, also, uh, you can also de uh, build, defend the dictionary using the Python built-in function, uh, DICT. This function is could be used to construct a dictionary uh, by using this uh, uh, by using this grammar. Like uh, here, you know, similarly, uh, I defend another dictionary here. Or I can sh try to run an simple example here maybe d1 dict something like this Let's 
sorry, we could defend it this way. We defend them, put them in this parentheses. Two value. Then Yes, dictionary. You can see. This is the diff dictionary we defined using this uh, DICT uh, function. If the key values uh, are the simple strings, uh, you can also uh, uh, this is uh, this is simple strings can be specified as keyword arguments, uh, and then uh, there is another way to define the dictionary. Like uh, this way, you know, we just like uh, this. This is uh, the key. The key is the string, and we just uh, use the uh, send operator to, you know, send the value to the key by this way. But here, you sh we should notice that the key values should be the strings. In order to access the dictionary values, uh, we need to we need to uh, use the dictionary dictionary key. For example, uh, if we type the, this this command, you know, this is the key. The output will be this one. Twins twins is the value corresponding to this key. Uh, yeah, we use the middle bracket. Um, also, uh, as I mentioned before, the dictionary is mutable, so we can assign a new value, new key, or we can assign uh, the dictionary can shrink or grow, grow. So we can add a new entry to the existing dictionary. Like uh, for this dictionary, we can add a new entry. This is the key, and this is the value. Also, we can update the entry. Uh, that is the property of a mutable. We can assign a new value to this key. This is the key, this is the value. Uh, similarly, we can use the deal. Deal is the is the, uh, keyword in the Python is used for the delete the uh, element for you know for the object like this dictionary. We can de delete the entry in this uh, dictionary we have defined. This is a Python keyword for deleting Python, deleting uh, Python objects. Uh, every time if you want to delete some item or some entry for some uh, Python object, you can try use deal if it works. Mm, now, uh, uh, Basically, uh, dictionary is very useful uh, in Python programming, just uh, like the least data structure, which is used uh, uh, very, very widely. Uh, so here, I just try to give you an example. Uh, like we can build the dictionary incrementally. You know, we first define an empty dictionary. We incrementally add the key and values to this dictionary. Uh, for example, uh, this is a real example, you know, assume if we want to build a two-layer new network, like this class, you know, uh, is the two-layer two new network. Uh, if you have learned some other object-oriented programming, I guess you should be very familiar with the class definition. Uh, but if you haven't uh, learned uh, uh, OOP programming, here you can just uh, skip you know, what is a class. Uh, I will talk about uh, cl class, uh, how to define the class in Python in future videos. Here I just want to explain how to use dictionary in the real scenario. Uh, like we first define a dic em empty dictionary. then we define 
we we uh, we generally we define uh we put we uh, produce a key for this dictionary and assign the values to this key. Similarly, we add another key and the corresponding values. We add an, two more keys with the corresponding values. So you can see, you know, we can use the dictionary to store um, parameters. You know, the parameters that uh, uh, we need to compute uh, during some uh, real project. Okay, uh, there, re there are some restrictions on the dictionary. Uh, first, uh, let's see the key restriction restrictions. Uh, duplicate keys are not allowed in dictionary because you know uh, dictionary uh, key should be unique. Otherwise, we can't uh, we can't uh, uh, retrieve the values according to the key. So, in dictionary key can't be duplicate. Uh, also note that a key must be a type of uh, immutable uh, or more precisely you know, the, uh, the key should be an object that must, must be hashable uh, for example we can use uh, integer, float, string, uh, boolean, tuple those, those uh, objects those object are the uh, immutable type they are have the immutable type so we have to use the uh, we have to uh, use the keys that are immutable. Uh, for the values, uh, uh, to my knowledge, uh, there is no restrictions for the dictionary value. Uh, so you can set uh, any value you need, you know, for the dictionary value. Also, there are many uh, Python built-in dictionary methods uh, that can be uh, that are provided to the user uh, how uh, how to use or handle uh, dictionary. Uh, for example, the first one I show here, uh, clear function uh, that is used to clear all the key value pairs in the dictionary, and uh, get function get key. Uh, it returns the value of for key. If it returns the value for key if uh, the key exists. Otherwise, it returns now. And also, we can add the default value. Uh, here, it means if there is no key inside this dictionary, it will return the default value instead of returning the null value. Here, you know, I provide a a very simple example, like we define a dictionary D, and we get the we get the value uh, with uh, whose key is B. You know the value the the value is twenty. When we try to get uh, uh, the the key uh, the key the key Z, uh, we get none because in the dictionary there is no key uh, value of pairs. You know there is no key that is Z. Uh, here, uh, this slide shows the more uh, Python built-in dictionary methods that you can use uh, to manipulate uh, dictionaries in your programming. Uh, first, the uh, items items return a list of tuples containing key-value pairs. But uh, note that you know if you want to uh, get the list uh, list, you know you kind of uh, change the dictionary to the list you also need to use this uh, uh, function list you know uh, to make sure you get the output uh, uh, that is the list type for example if we I define this uh, dictionary and I try to use this item function the output will be a list And case function returns a list of keys. Uh, values function returns a list of values. Uh, these two are important uh, in the scenario that you want to get a list of dictionary keys or you want to get a list of dictionary values. The pop pop function uh, it removes a key 
uh, from dictionary if it's present and also it returns the, the value you know corresponding to that key uh, for example uh, if uh, if we type this 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 command we can try to see uh, pop d1 d pop app name yes we can see here you know the output will be the value corresponding to this key now let's see the key one d1 sorry you can see you know uh, the first entry you know so this entry has been removed you know uh, by the pop function so here it means you know uh, using the pop function we can remove an entry based on the key argument uh, but this function will return the value corresponding to that corresponding to the key argument in the pop function and uh, this pop item removes a random removes a random uh, key value pair and it returns it as a tuple. Um, for example, still we can try this one. Pop item. Yeah, this is the tuple because you know. Uh, in our dictionary, we just has one entry, so you know the uh, return uh, tuple is you know is, it should be this one. But we can see the type you know for the returned uh, re that returned by the this function pop item is a tuple. Also, we can use the update function to merge objects with the dictionary. Uh, here, uh, let's see this example. If we define a dictionary D1, uh, D2, and we want to update D1, you know, based on D2, so we can get something like this, you know. You can try these uh, uh, functions by yourself to uh, uh, make it, make it yourself be familiar with how to use these functions. Okay, that is the dictionary. Uh, now, uh, let me uh, go through the set. Set is also a composite uh, data type in Python. It uh, just like dictionary is a collection. It includes a collection of uh, distinct uh, distinct objects. In Python, uh, set has uh, for this this uh, properties. First, set set uh, is unordered. You know, uh, there is no order for the set uh, elements. Uh, second, set elements should be unique. Uh, it does it can, we can't put two uh, same elements within the same set. Uh, a set itself may be modified, but the elements contained in the set uh, uh, must be an immutable type. So uh, this means you know uh, we can uh, we can modify the size, like uh, increase or uh, shrink the size the size of the site, but the elements inside the site uh, can't be modified. Also, uh, let's see how to define the site. Uh, usually, uh, there are two ways to create a site in Python. First, uh, you can use the Python built-in function site set function. Let's uh, let's say these examples. Uh, we defend uh, the site uh, x using the set function. You know, you can you can have you can try these two ways. You know, it produces the same thing. Like this is the site set. You know, the uh, it has it has elements. You know, included in the curly braces. Um, it should be noted that you know, like if we define a string and we put the string as the argument this function, 
the output will be uh, a set something like this. Here, you know, we can we can see it has four characters in the string, but the output set only has three elements. This is because uh, the set elements should be unique. So u when u has been deleted. Another thing is we can see the order. The order is not following the order in the string uh, because in the set, you know, there is no order. Another simple and uh, mostly used way is to define the set directly with the curly braces. Like this is the grammar. It in and these are two examples to uh, how to define the set in Python. Um, but uh, we should know, notice that in Python, for dictionary, we can also use the curly braces to define. Uh, so Python um, by default interprets empty curly braces as an empty dictionary. So if you want to define the empty set, you have to use the set function. You can't use this uh, uh, curly braces because it will Python interpreter will consider it as the empty uh, set, empty uh, dictionary. Let's see it here, for example, tab. So here, here we can see the class is the dictionary. And uh, list and the dictionaries uh, are mutable. Uh, so uh, in the side, uh, we can't put the list of dictionaries uh, as the elements because you know the set elements must be immutable tab. You can use the line function to measure the size of the set. And in and not in operator um, that are used to test the membership. Uh, for example, this is the set I defined. We can use the LAN function to measure the length, how many elements for inside this site. And here, you know, test the membership. If you want, if you are not sure if some uh, elements belong into a set or not, you can use in or not in operators. For the site, uh, usually. Uh, for the set operations, I mean, uh, usually uh, it can be performed in two ways. Uh, one way is by operator, another way is by the method. Uh, mostly, mostly, uh, most operations, you know, they can be operated, they can be performed by either of these two ways. Uh, also, uh, methods to uh, perform set operations uh, uh, typically accept any iterable as an argument, but uh, operators uh, usually require the actual set as the operands. As you use uh, the operator or methods in your own programming, you will get more uh, familiar with this difference. Uh, let's say the uni set, you know, in mathematics we have learned in the middle school, we know uh, if we have two sets, we can compute the union for the two sets. Uh, similarly, in Python programming here, we can also uh, compute the set union by the union function or by the, by the R of operator. For example, uh, we define a set as x1 and another set x2. Each of these sets has three uh, elements, and uh, these two sets have the same element base BAZ. Uh, now we can compute union by this operator. You know, this is our operator, or we can use this method. You know, both produce the same result. Uh, another thing is, uh, if we use union function, we can also uh, put the argument in this way. You know. This is the iterable object. So all of these three 
computation three of uh, you know operations uh, produce the same result. This is the final output uh, union operation. The second is the intersection operation. We can find the uh, elements that are present in both of the set or in several uh, in all of the set. Uh, also, we can first we can use the method intersection method, or we can use the AND operation. These are the examples I have wrote. Uh, basically, for these two sets, the base is the element that is present that is found in both of these two sets. So it is the output for the intersection operation. The third is the difference operation. Uh, this uh, operation is kind of the minus operation in the mathematics. Uh, for example, we also have these two sets. Now we want to find, uh, we want to use the difference method to find elements, uh, elements that inside x1 but but not in x2. No, x1 difference x2. Uh, this means we want to get the elements that uh, only belong to x1. So here are these two elements, you know, bar and foo. Also, we can use minus operator x1 minus x2. The output, you know, is the difference. Difference. The fourth operator operation is the symmetric difference. Uh, I'm not sure. I guess uh, uh, most of you, if you uh, you have, you should have uh, have the engineering background, you should know uh, what is the symmetric difference. Uh, basically, for this operation, it returns the side of all elements in either x1 or x2, but not both. So I read it again to. Uh, strength your memory about this operation. Uh, it returns the elements that are in either x1 or x2, but not both. Uh, here, uh, first we can use this uh, symmetric function, x1 symmetric x2 for example, but for this function, it only accepts one argument. However, we can also use the operator operation. This is the uh, operator operation. Operator operation. It allows to uh, operate, uh, you know, to process more than two sets, uh, which is performed from left to right. Now, let's see this uh, example. If we compute x1 symmetric difference x2, we, the output will be these two for these four uh, elements. Uh, similarly, if we just use this operator, we can get the same result. This is the symmetric uh, difference operate, operator. Okay, uh, another one is uh, uh, for the site operation is this function is disjoint. Uh, if we will use this function, it returns true if x1 and x2 have no elements in common. So we can see it's mainly used to determine if two sets have elements in common. Um, this is for this function there is no corresponding operator. If you want to test if two sets have same have the same elements, you know, you can only use this uh, Python building function. Uh, for example, for this one, for this one we can test we can write x1 is disjoint x2. Uh, the output will be the Boolean false because you know they have the same elements base here. Uh, another method is is subset x1 is a subset x2 or x1 uh, less or equal to x2 this is the operator this uh, function and operator is used to determine if one set is a subset of the other 
for example, uh, x1 equals to this, x1 is the is this side, and uh, x1 is a subset of uh, this one. You can see the output is correct because x1 uh, is in indeed uh, is a subset of this uh, this set. Also, we can use uh, this operator, you know, uh, less equal to. We can also get the true. Um, but note, note that if if two sets uh, are exactly the same, and if we use less equal to, you know, the output will be true. But if we use less operator, the output will be false. This is very intuitive because in mathematics, you know, if a value is if two uh, variables have the same value, if we use uh, less equal to, uh, it's true. But if we use less, uh, uh, one parameter is less than another parameter, uh, the output will be false. Similarly, uh, there is another function is a sub subset, you know, to determine if one side is a subset of the other. Uh, also, we can use the operator uh, greater greater to determine if one side is a, a is a proper subset of the other. Uh, these are the examples, you know, very simple. Okay, those uh, uh, we have seen the uh, operators and also the methods for set operations. Uh, now uh, I will introduce some methods to modify a set. There are also uh, a mix of operators and methods that can be utilized to change the contents of a set. Uh, for example, uh, we can modify a set by the union. Uh, in this case, we should use the update function. Or we can use the augmented uh, operator, like this one, like this way. And this means we add to, uh, add to x1 any elements in x2 uh, that uh, x1 doesn't have, you know. Uh, Modify set means you know the uh, after using this update function, the return the set will be you know uh, x1 will be updated x1. For example, I can quickly run here a equals to one two b equals to 3, 2. Update B. Now you can see A has been updated, you know. It means the values in B um, has been merged into the values, the elements values in the set A. Uh, similarly, by the set operation, you know, operations, uh, we can we can modify a set by intersection update, uh, difference update, and correspondingly, we can use the augmented operator like this way. Uh, here, uh, if you are, uh, I, if uh, I don't know if you are from clear with about uh, the uh, difference with the um, like uh, intersection function and the intersection update function difference between these two functions. Uh, I think the di difference is mainly you know uh, it mainly reflect uh, the return values. Like when we use the intersection update function, the Value it means x1 will be x1 the set x1 will be updated, you know, updated based on this operation. But in our previous slide, uh, we have seen the set operation, you know. Here, you know, when we use this set operation, you know, x1 is not changed, you know, 
For example, if we want to compute the intersections between x1 and x2, you know, the output is this one, but x1 is not changed. So that's why we call here modifying a site. Also, we can use the difference update, you know, to uh, modify the elements in x1 or use this augmented operator x minus equals to x2. Uh, these are examples. Like if we have the um, B set here, we can use this one uh, B minus this set, you know, the output will be the output B, you know, will be 2. Uh, first, we can modify a set by symmetric difference. Uh, we just need to uh, add the update, you know. So we can see here, you know, uh, we can compute the union intersection difference, symmetric difference between two sets. We can also modify the set just uh, by using this another function, you know. This function is only different by this part, you know, update, you know. We can update the site of x1. Aside from these augmented operators, there are several another methods. There are several, several other methods, uh, like add element. We can add an element to a site. We can also remove the element by the remove function, uh, or by using the discard function. But these two functions uh, have some little difference. Uh, like for this remove function, uh, it removes an element. Uh, if the element is not in X, it will raise an exception. But for discard function, if the uh, element is not in the set, you know, it does nothing. Uh, pop function removes and returns a random element from a set. Clear, you know? as we have used uh, uh, for the dictionary function, uh, it, clear, it clears a site. I think we just uh, see this function here, clear, you know, clear the, clear the dictionary, clean the site. The, two, uh, the clear function, you know, is used uh, the clear function is used uh, with uh, is used with different object, object, you know, dictionary is the object, set is also object. Uh, the name for the clear function is the same, but, you know, it belongs to different objects. Uh, dictionary has the clear function, uh, set also has the uh, dictionary function. Uh, we will learn uh, this uh, issue in our future uh, tutorials. These are some examples. Like uh, we can add a value to the set x, uh, we can discard it later, uh, we can randomly pop a value from the set. Uh, finally, we clear the, all the elements inside the set x. Okay, uh, in the last slide, I will quickly talk about the frozen set. Uh, as I uh, explained before, you know, for the site, you know, uh, the set itself can be modified, but the elements of the set must be immutable. Uh, for the frozen set, you know, it's, uh, it's just the extension of the set concept. Uh, it can be considered as another Python building tab. Uh, compared with the typical set, you know, a, fro a frozen set is immutable. Is com completely immutable. Um, so uh, this means uh, only non-modifying operators uh, about the set uh, can be uh, used uh, to uh, handle frozen set. You can um, just get some idea for the frozen set. You know, compared to the typical set, you know, a frozen set is completely immutable. Uh, for example, here I have defined a frozen site, and we can measure the length of the frozen site x3, and also we can do the end operation. Uh, for this operation, you know, 
for this unoperate intersection operation, uh, we haven't modified this frozen set because we can't modify it. So you can use non-modifying operations with the frozen set. Okay, th this are the today's uh, uh, video for uh, introducing Python dictionary and site. Uh, you can uh, get to learn uh, using some examples to make you become more familiar with how to use dictionary and site.